Hi everyone, I'm Arun Malve and welcome back to Good Shoes. If you're enjoying this video so far and maybe even learning something new, take a quick second to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And hey, don't forget to smash the notification bell like. I'm your friendly neighborhood DevOps nerd who spends way too much time breaking laps. You don't have to do it. Today, we are creating a Proxmox Kubernetes cluster with one master node and two worker nodes. Think of it, me building a tiny army, except instead of swords and shields, there'll be army width of containers. And if you watch my last video, we have already built the Ubuntu 2204 template VM. So now it's time for us to bring the template into our life and create our master and the worker nodes. For a tea, because this is going to be a long video. And don't worry, I'll keep it fun and interactive. Maybe we can roast Proxmox along the way. Let's go ahead. The first part is subscription and updates. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the Proxmox GUI and you, just, you see that a pop-up window appears like no validation subscription. You do not have a valid subscription. This is the message you see it on the screen. So what we do is like on, click OK and head over to the data center under the PVE and click on the updates. So you should be able to see a list of updates from the detention of the origin and click on the refresh tab and you should see the pop-up message back coming up again for no valid subscription don't panic just click ok because no credit card required today folks and once you click ok it will take you back to the output window like it will start showing you update package data from the database and you should see some thing loading up and don't panic what we're going to do is wait for it to complete and click on the cancel window or close this window and head back to the window. This is the list we're talking about. And we need to update or upgrade this list as we go ahead and click on the repository just below the updates and click on the add tab. Okay, and you see the pop up window, click OK and under the add repository enterprise change it from enterprise to no subscription this is what you're going to do it and you'll not see any pop-up click on add and head back to the updates window and click on the upgrade so once you do that it will ask you to continue say why type in why and hit ok and you should see that once it's all upgraded like a boss system is up to date is the message you would see it eventually. Now you have the PV node up and ready. Now we need to restart it. Let's reboot it. Let's have our PV a little nap. Click on leave and hit the reboot tab. Once you click that, click yes to confirm. It's because reboot hub is being done for 80% of our admin job. So Let's wait. Next is cloning the VM or the Kubernetes. So it's time for an exciting part like cloning our VMs. Remember, we have already created a template, which is VM 5000. This is first way with right click and click on clone. There is another way where you can create a VM on the right top corner. You should see a create VM tab. Once you click on it, you have the options here to do the same thing, but in our case, we're going to right click and clone it from our template. And we do a full clone mode is and type in the VMID to 101 and type in the name it's K8 hyphen S hyphen one. So this will be our first worker node is because the master is already created in my previous video. Please go ahead and check out the other video where I've created a template and cloned the master. Once it's done, you should see the worker node is up. You need to click on the start. Guest is not running, so you can click on the start tab. And once you see the start serial terminal on the interface serial zero and head back to the hardware, it will be the similar as we have created the template and we pulled it from the VM 5000. So all the settings will be the similar from the template itself. And head back to the template 2204 and we're going to create another worker node which is similar to the s1 right click on it and click on clone and we're going to give this id s102 and name would be k8s 
hyphen two. Yeah, and I'm going to change the mode from link to the full clone. And once this is done, click on create tab and wait for the node to be ready. And once it's ready, we're going to start a boot, delay 15 seconds for the worker nodes. Because the worker nodes don't try to join before the boss is ready or shows up because nobody likes waiting for a manager. But hey, the Kubernetes life is different here. Click on the options and click on the start shutdown order, which is at the moment equal to any. Click on select that and click on edit and change the delay to 15 seconds. Update that, click OK. You should be able to see that on the screen. And we need to do this similar to all the other PMs, which is only for the worker nodes, not for the master node. And start now. And once the VM is putting up, we can just sit back, relax, and type in the user ID and the password. And once it's up, we're going to move to the next section, which is QEMU agent installation. This is very critical. Why are we doing this? Because Proxima has no idea what's going on inside our VM. With it, you're going to see the IP address gracefully shut down VMs and basically spy on them. So hey, it's like putting a tracking chip on your pen. So let me type in the command sudo app install QEMU guest, sorry, hyphen guest hyphen agent. Is because I'm talking and also typing in, so it's both things at a time. Like click yes, why? And once it's done, click on the defaults, click OK, and all the services should be click the default OK. And once it's done, we need to do this activity on all the other VMs, master and also slaves. Let me close this window, leave, maximize the window, and in the master node, I think something happened, unusual. Let me retry it. So the app install QEMU hyphen guest hyphen agent. Enter. Okay, something not right. Let's restart and see. Let's reboot the VMs and it should all be fine. So right click and reboot on the work one node. Right click and reboot well on the master and right click and reboot on the worker two node and click on yes. I think we need to do some troubleshooting. I have a feeling that master node is having an issue because we seen that error message. Let's check, click on the summary tab and you should have the, oh, something happened here. Guest agent not running on the master. On the worker node one, yay, we have the IP address. On the two worker node, we have the IP address, great. Something's not right on our master. Classic master node doesn't have the IP address showing up. So let's find a resolution. Reinstall the guest agent. Let's type in the command sudo so apt install QME guest agent. Okay, it says it's already running the newest version. So, what is the best way it's to restart or reboot the node? Okay. Let's try it with sudo. It says interactive, ignoring. Sudo space reboot. Because nothing fixes problems like rebooting. So let's go ahead and check our QEME agent is running on the master. We are on the master. Let me quickly go on to the summary. Check the IP address. There you go. Hey, hey, we've done it. Okay, so we have the guest agent running. We have the IP address, we are online now. Let's move on to the next section. We're going to set this up, uh, set up the SSH uh, using the IP address. Let's copy the master node IP address and move on to another application, which is mobile extreme. We're going to SSH into it now. I'm going to create another video separately as well for this, but uh, we're going to connect using the SSH IP address into it. So let's add the sessions. Uh, let me paste this for the master and specify username is good shoes, everything okay. 
as its default and right click onto the next one copy the ip address for the worker node one and paste it into worker node one right click and edit session and then paste it in the remote host section and keep everything default and click ok and for, we need to do that for the worker node 2 as well edit session we need to copy the ip address let me go back and copy the ip address for the last one and then come back and paste it here in this window under the remote host and click ok now we're going to connect the sessions okay so connect has with my username which we have already created this when we are creating a template that's the username and the password which is coming from the template itself and there you go okay it's master is connected and all good we're going to go back to the home window on the top instead of sessions yeah close let me close it i need to go back to the home window and right click and connect has for the worker node either you can start with the local domain as well but let me go through the username type in that and click ok once it's done accept the public key ok i'll make another video to how to insert the public key into the mobile stream so that's very simple but we can do it as you go so right click on the work node to connect as and then type in the username good choose and click ok and once it's done click accept authenticating the public key all good connected that's great so congratulations you are in so all right team now what you have done here is like one master node and two worker nodes all are running in the proxmox pv with ip address guest agents and sss access in the next video we're going to roll our sleeves up and start our actual kubernetes installation and deployment that's where the real magic happens so we're going to do the cube admin, cube curl, and kubelet, and some networking plugins to the whole shebang. If you found this helpful, uh, smash the thumbs up button, drop in your funniest moment uh, in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for the part two. Until next time, keep your labs messy and YAML files intended. And bye for now. This video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Good Shoes. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.